guys, this is the quietest I've ever seen at Mia Brunch Bar. Not complaining though, because we got a little corner booth, and I'm sure it's gonna pack up real soon. I'm not waiting to have brunch. But first, coffee. I forgot to say no asparagus. <laughs> You haven't been here in six years. I know, oh my god. <laughs> Shame on me. <laughs> Do the light song. Sweet dreams and a beautiful nightmare. Special delivery. Are you actually? I shouldn't be back with, then you won't see. Bing! I'm super hyped about these shoes. If you watched the vlog, I don't even know how long ago. Timeline. Timeline and okay. I got a pair of heels and these ones are way more blind friendly. Those ones were way too high. I oh, also, it's more like my nude. Hey, look at that, two for two. I'm so excited. You guys already know, I'm very basic when it comes to my shoes. So a simple one strap. I'm probably gonna have to poke a hole in this strap if it doesn't, I can't really tell. We'll see, safety first, you know? Have you ever poked a hole in your strap? It makes it tighter. But these are really, really pretty. I'm super excited. <laughs> I'm the worst. If my other shoe didn't snap, I wouldn't have bought these, but I mean, I needed to replace them because every girl needs to have at least one pair of mutual heels. And these are a good replacement for those. So let's try them on. They're way more comfortable than the last pair. Although when I played that back, I made a TikTok of them and I wish after watching them, I'm like, I wish I kept them. They were way too high. I cannot do sky high while being partially sided. The two do not go together. That is called a recipe for disaster. But these, your girl can definitely figure out these. I love them, hopefully you can see them, because I can't, like, completely blind. That's another reason why I don't like shopping in store, because the pressure they give me, oh, these look so good. Well, at least one of us can see them. But they're super simple, chic. They can go with a lot of things. I wouldn't necessarily wear it with this outfit, but I wasn't about to change my outfit just to show you them. They are a moment and they feel comfortable. You never really know until you go for hours, right? But I love them. That's one thing. I'm appreciative that I still have the vision that I have. My left eye has been sore for the last little bit. If you're visually impaired, does that ever happen to you? So I'm just trying to count my blessings. and I'm grateful that I can still see well enough to enjoy the little luxuries of life like style. Truth be told though, I've never really been a shoe person, even before I lost vision, but especially now, you will not catch me in some of the heels that I've owned in the past, and that's especially why I like to wear my shoes out into the point where it's time to toss them. Because there's no point spending money on things that I can't truly enjoy because I feel like it's a, a risk. But I'm loving these. have guy friends because they're just gonna roast you about not bringing ivy when you're out. Like a rotisserie chicken roast. <laughs> My God, David wow. Halili. Computer right here has been through a lot with me. Some of the apps take forever and a half to open up to the point where I'm like, are you gonna open up this year or next year? And nights like tonight being New Year's Eve, it could quite literally be next year by the time I get to my spreadsheet. If you don't know, I keep track of everything I spent to the cent. So I'm gonna do a little bit of financial planning, career planning, life planning, and YouTube planning. I got my credit card balance here. I'm gonna input it in there. I know, so exciting for New Year's Eve, but I mean, 
I'd rather prep and plan and be prepared for next year because 2023 and me did not go together. But 2024, it will be better. It will be better. Happy New Year! It is 10 something. I can't see that far, but I know it's after 10. I went to the gym, did a little sesh. Now we're gonna make some scrambled eggs. Start this off right. All right, don't judge the hair. I'm gonna fix it after I cook the eggs. I just, I don't know if I'm just paranoid or super self-conscious, but I always feel like when I cook, I don't want my hair to smell like what I'm eating. So when I moisturize it and recondition it, then it'll smell like hair product instead of what I was eating for breakfast. <laughs> Where's my bag? Because I live alone, I always use these bags to put the things I will smell instead of keeping it in the trash. So the last thing I need in this small space is for it to smell like, yeah. You can tell I'm very sensitive with smells, but we're gonna make scrambled eggs with onions, mushrooms, I knew I was forgetting something, and cheese. Cheese, please. Sometime this week, I also wanna make a simple vanilla buttercream cake. I haven't baked a cake in so long, so remind me to get regular milk, because this is almond milk, which I shouldn't be using for scrambled eggs. That's all I got on deck. So that's what we're gonna do. There's something else I was gonna tell you. Oh, I'm just grateful to make it into the new year. Just grateful to be here. I can't wait to upload my Patreon pod tonight. Sometimes I can't believe that I've lived the life I've lived. Do you ever have those moments? Like I'll just be doing something super mundane and I'm like, wow. Just thinking back to moments in my life, wow. <laughs> Tuesday. It's January 2nd, that much I know. There's a little bit of chaos over here. Spun the screen around because you know I can't show work stuff, but I'm gonna use my lunch break to pack the pack because surprise, your girl's going on another vacay. I've never booked this late, but I just thought <laughs> the way life has been life thing. I need a little reset. So you'll see where I'm going in the next vlog. I don't wanna give it away yet because at this rate, there'll be a little bit of buffer space between this one going up and that one. I can only imagine from now. The things we're gonna get into, it's gonna take a long time to edit. I'm so excited for it. But yeah, I just wanted to do some pre-vacation prep. I didn't bring you guys to show you when I got my nails done. They're so long, I wish you cut them shorter. Cause these are my real nails by the way. But she made and mixed this milky white color, which I think is perfect for our island vacay. So I personally like to pack super light. If you've noticed, almost every single trip with except of Paris, except Shun of Paris, which was whew, a long time ago, I've always brought this. It was gifted to me by Muji back when they used to collab with influencers. I hate that term. I'd rather be an impactor than an influencer, but we can talk about that on a Patreon pod sometime soon. But yes, this is what I'm gonna bring. So everything's gotta fit in. And as you can see, I got a lot of daily products. Honestly, there's a couple things I wanna bring, but I'm like, you're doing the most. Like you can't bring your vitamin C serum. You can't bring this, you can't bring that, but I'm gonna pack as much as I can pack and you're gonna see how we do it. So let's get into it.
but before we get into it, I gotta chit chat with you guys. Is it just me or does January bring so many, so many lessons? A lot of hard ones might I add. I was just thinking like, is it just because we're hyper aware that it's a new year and we wanna be our best selves and blah, blah, blah? Or is it that this time of year just brings a lot of lessons? Cause if I could sit down and chat with you, well, the Patreon knows a little bit of what's going on, but whew. let me just say, I feel foolish frantically looking for footage today. I spent an hour trying to find a vlog and some content for my home improvement video that I cannot recreate. I mean, the vlog footage, you don't even wanna know how many vlogs and how many sit down videos over the years I've accidentally deleted. I mean, it can happen between taking it off of this SD card to the external hard drive to my computer's hard drive. Yes, they have to transfer between two hard drives because they're that dense. My computer used to crash when I didn't do it that way. It's crazy. Sometimes it gets lost in the sauce or I think I transferred it, but I didn't. So I delete it and then it's gone forever in the ethers. <sighs> Life of a content creator. But this time I said, take your time, even take a break, go back to looking for it because it's gotta be there, okay? And thank God it was in a random file. It was actually in my folder. I have six different folders of reels that I've never posted yet that I don't think I will seeing as it's the first week of January. They're kind of, the time has passed. But what I will say is I'm just grateful that for once my footage was found. Very rarely when I spend more than 10 minutes trying to find it, do I ever find it. It's usually just accidentally threw it away or I never transferred it in the first place. But thank God there was a third case in this case. So let's get into this haul. And that's just my wake up call that I can't spend forever and a half to edit these vlogs or any video for that matter for you guys. I did really bad last year, but I was also having a year, like literally 2023 was the worst year for me. So I kind of understand why, for example, I posted a <laughs> vlog from November in January. Like who does that? I couldn't even put the dates on so I'm like, you guys are gonna be like, why? As you know, I'm going on a trip very soon. So I got a little treat for myself because I thought, you know, I'm a bikini babe. I'm a beach bum at best, and I wanted a new bikini swimsuit set. I figured it would be nice to have a little teal moment. This is such a pretty hue, and I never do this shade of green, so it would be something different to wear under one of my cover-ups. You know the ones that I got for Jamaica that arrived like three days after I got back? How about that? And then they had these on sale too. I wanna make it a trend in the future. Now, if I was rich, rich, I'd go as far to say that I would make it a trend to go on a tropical trip after the holidays every year. The price of my ticket, wow. I have never seen anything that affordable. It wasn't cheap. Affordable is different from cheap. And I mean, are these even my right size? They look like it. I don't want to take my, ooh, crack a lack. That gives away my age. I don't want to take off my socks because it's not that serious, but I think these will be good. I just figured a nice brown pair since I only have the blue Havianas that my bestie got me a couple years ago. And as you know, I don't really wear blue, so. Those are my everyday go to the pool when the summer hits here. Flip flops, but I wanted something more neutral. So, and then there's this, which I don't think I'm gonna keep. You know, to tell you guys a secret, you're gonna be like, you are so frugal, it's disturbing. I only ordered this because you need to have a certain amount to have minimal shipping, but then you can return for free. So I mean, if I wanna save 15 or $20 in shipping, let me just throw something random in the cart. And half the time, I actually like the random thing I throw in the cart, so I keep it. But this, not my vibe. I mean, the color is pretty. I'm such a sucker for anything that's neutral tone, but this is going right back to the store today, actually. I only really wanted to get the flip-flops and the swimsuit, so that's a little hack I wanted to share in case you're someone who's like, I really want this thing, but it's not worth the shipping. As long as you can return it in store or ship it back for free, just put something random in your cart, who cares? Anywho, I'm gonna get ready to go make some moves. I got a couple errands to run before I return that sweater, so I probably won't bring you guys along, but I'm still in a state of shock. You know when you're like, you're in a rush and then you slow down and you still feel like you're rushing even though it's all calm? Even though I wasn't rushing, I still feel like this adrenaline of like, where is my content? I cannot redo the contact paper or struggling with the reflective ugh, good moments that cannot be recreated. So when those videos are finally up, 
I really hope you enjoy them. You can have a little inside joke with me about them almost not making them to YouTube. Option so I could get it today since I leave in two days, but uh, no, that's not it. So instead, I'm gonna show you what I got from Sephora. It's not for me, but you remember that perfume TikTok reel that I released a couple weeks back? Well, about that, I had a lot of more people messaging me than commenting, which always seems to happen to me. Like, I get three comments, but I have 30 people messaging me about something. I'm like, Help the algorithm know you like this content by actually commenting and engaging so others can see. Because there is a domino effect with that. But anyway, when I started talking with my cousin about perfumes and she mentioned that her mom, one of my favorite aunties, loves... Can I open this? Where's the little flappity flap? Are you seeing this? Oh, it's right here. I love this jumpsuit. You know I'm a sucker for a good one piece, but it keeps running down on me. Da -da -da. So I decided to get her a little mini of Versace Bright Crystal since that's a fragrance she likes. And then of course, when you order online, they pack a lot of little samples. So maybe I can bring a few of these with me. You know, I'm the queen of bringing small sizes when I travel. I don't even know what this is. Some of their sample sizes last few months. Don't mind my hair being a mess. I was up until midnight straightening it last night. What is this? Ooh, it's a body wash. See what I mean? Like this is smaller than the travel size from Bath and Body Works. This would be so much better. Plus for 10 days, I think this could be enough. Plus my cousin, of course, is gonna have body wash, but mm, you to the people. Mm. A couple episodes ago, I was talking about that really fresh tea tree yoga smell. That's what this is giving. I don't think I like it. Maybe I'll try it tonight and see how I like. And if I do, then I'll swap it out because the smaller the bottle, the better. about to say smudged my pedicure I have the worst luck the last four pedicures I've gotten have either smudged chipped within the first day oh good thing this time though I brought my own so I'm gonna try to redo it myself but the whole reason why I go nowadays is because I can't see my feet anymore I used to love doing my own pedicures I wanted my feet to be fresh even in the winter, but since losing more vision, I can't really do it on my own, but I'm gonna have to, so I don't have time to go back. And I specifically stayed for another 20 minutes to make sure this wouldn't happen, but it still didn't, I don't know. I might have to give that salon a break, but they're so polite and it's so pretty there, but if this keeps happening, I just, hmm. <laughs> Just when you thought it couldn't get worse. Are you seeing these two? I feel that they're uneven. Please tell me that what I feel. So when did I become a procrastinator? If you knew the list of things I have to do between now, which is 7.30 and midnight, in time to wake up for my flight tomorrow morning, I'm gonna repack, cause I revised what I wanna wear since things are gonna be switched up a little bit. You'll see in the next week's vlog. And I also have to clean chicken, I've already cooked, thank God, because I'm starving. I have to bake, don't ask why I have to. That's the story for another day. I have to edit three TikToks so they're on my phone, so all I gotta do through the week is add audio, since 
I can't bring my iMac with me. I wish that they had a blind friendly MacBook because then I could buy one and take it on trips like this. But since they don't, I gotta do everything I gotta do to tie me over for the next week in a bit. Which reminds me, the next thing I gotta do is record two pods and schedule them. So at least I'm only missing, well, I won't miss a week, I'll be late a day for the following week because I can always post midday Wednesday. So keep an eye out for that. Then I also have to clean because I like to come home to a clean home. And there was one more thing that I need to do. Oh, not me wasting two hours of my time going to three, three different TDs for them to not have EC dollars. Like, hello? Hello? So instead I'm gonna take some Canadian dollars where I'm going and hope to God they can exchange them. That's right. Yeah, I'll do that. Not me bending my car, holy. This is a disaster. Oh my gosh, I'm packing away too much. Oh, I need my sneakers. Sneakers, sneakers, sneakers. Don't ask why I'm bringing these. Short. This private patient episode is inspired by 